the postdoctoral party will be the highlight of not only your special day, but also your entire dissertation process. It is your opportunity to publicly express gratitude and acknowledge those who have supported you during the process and who made your examination day memorable. So therefore, you should be prepared to say something in the party for all of those people. You might be in a rush to sort out everything, so it's useful to think ahead and prepare your speeches in advance. This way, you will be able to enjoy the moment and not feel overly nervous about the evening. The general words that you should prepare refer to welcoming your guests and beginning the banquet, as well as providing a description of how the evening is going to proceed. Speeches, on the other hand, are directed at specific people and groups and are governed by a number of academic traditions. When you welcome your guests to the party, you can first thank them for taking part in your day and telling them how much it means to you that they are all there to celebrate with you. You can then continue by explaining that the banquet is held in the honor of your opponent and propose a toast to them. To conclude your opening words, you can tell your guests how the evening is going to progress and where the guest book and gift table and toilets and other important things are located. Typically, you will then proceed to have dinner. The banquet speeches are for thanking others and for acknowledging their roles. When you write your speech, think of the roles that different people have had or have taken during the various stages of your research process. What was their input? How did their support feel? And what sort of help did you get from them? Find adjectives to describe your feelings, the kind of people they are, and what they mean to you. Academic speeches are typically given after the first cup of coffee has been finished. Alternatively, the speeches can be given once the plates for the main course have been cleared away and the kitchen staff are preparing to serve the coffee. You can decide on the correct timing by estimating the number of speeches and responding speeches. Do not forget to let the catering service and the kitchen know about your decisions before the event and keep them updated during the banquet. If there are any changes to the plan, they should be the first to know. A good speech will take a few minutes per person or group of people that you wish to thank. The speeches are normally given in the following order. The first speech is for the opponent, as they are the guest of honor, and the rest will be like this. The custos, or the supervisor and supervisors, then the members of the examining board, or the steering group, then the research group and colleagues, or other academic staff and cooperation partners, then the friends, next extended family, then family, and finally significant other. Provide instructions to your guests before the event about the speech traditions during a postdoctoral party. It will be awkward if the guests have to wait and see what happens and when feeling nervous, not knowing what is expected of them is not good. The order of the response speeches follows that of the main speeches. And this rule will help your guests remember when they received their thank you speech. The rule also determines when they are expected to give their response speech. An unspoken rule says that only those addressed by the candidate, those whom you thanked personally and named them, must give a speech in response. For example, a speech directed at a group of friends does not necessarily require any of them to respond with a speech, but they can decide amongst themselves whether one or all of them should say a few words about the candidate. Typically, people giving speeches share little stories from the time you work on the dissertation and describe some of your characteristics that they admire. Here are my tips for you to create a well-structured thank you speech. Direct your words at the person you're giving your speech to and thank them. And tell them why and what for you're thanking them. 
Explain the meaning or effect that the person has had on you and your dissertation process. You can also share a funny anecdote or joke about their love for the formatting instructions of publications in a friendly manner. You can end your speech by telling the person what you hope the future will bring for them. Now that I have published and defended my dissertation, I hope that we can take a long-awaited trip to the archipelago. Should you memorize your speech or not? Well, that is entirely up to you, but make sure you know how you're going to react as the situation may cause you to get emotional. In that case, written notes might support you to deliver all that you want to say. Because if you don't plan your speeches in advance, there's a risk that you will start to repeat yourself. I would like to thank you as well for having an important part of this process and also your, your support has meant a great deal to me. Since you're giving speeches, why not make them personal and tailor them specifically to each person you wish to thank? Therefore, make at least some preparations before the event in order to avoid putting unnecessary pressure on yourself. Who else can have the floor at a banquet and what other speeches can you expect to hear? Well, for example, the head waiter or you may wish to set out the menu and the program. So it may involve various types of instructions about traditions and transitions at the party. In addition, there may be performances, music, a live band, even dancing, and your personal touches to your celebration are the best. Enjoy. You deserve it.